Hello, this is Chris from Palatech, and in this video we are going to learn how to add the WooCommerce checkout to any section of our site using the WooCommerce plugin and the essential add-ons for Elementor plugin. To do that, we need to go over to the Left Voices plugins. We are going to click on Add New, and on the search bar we are going to type Elementor add-ons. This is the one we, yeah, we are, this is the one we are going to use the essential add-ons for Elementor. You will add some extra widgets to our site, among them the checkout on any section widget. But before that, we need to have the WooCommerce plugin installed. We have it already, so we are going to click on install now on the essential add-ons. And then we are going to click on activate. Now we are going to the top to the name of the site and we are going to click on visit site. And on the top bar we are going to click on edit with Elementor. Here we are. Now we are going to scroll down to an open section like this one. And on the widget search bar we are going to type blue commerce and the one we are going to use is the new checkout widget so we are going to click with the left mouse button hold drag and release in the open section there we go now we have our checkout in the home page we can make some modifications here on the content tab we have the general settings, but the only option we have is default. So we are going to move on to the order details. And here we can activate the change of labels. We can change the product here, the quantity here, and the price here. And we can add a shop link, which is this one right here. And we can change the text here as well. This will allow us to go back to the shop and we are going to move on to the coupon and here we can change the icon which is the one right here clicking and it will take us to the icon array and we can change it to whatever we want but we are going to leave that present icon here and we are going to move on to the login and here we can change the login icon and we can show the preview of login we can activate it so we can edit it a bit as you can see we have an option to log in to our account so we are going to move to the style tab and here we can change the section titles which are is this one right here we can change the color we can change the typography we can change the family the size add some weight transform the text, change the style, decorate it, and change the line height and the letter spacing. And we can increase the gap between the order details and the section title. So we are going to leave that on a 10, and we are going to move to the order details. And here we can change the background of the old detail we can go with this like right here and we can add or reduce the padding we have we're going to go with a 50 overall and the radius of the border of the border radius we can increase it to make it more round so we're going to go with a 15 overall as you can see and for the table head we can change the typography in the same manner as the section title and we can change the color of the header which are the, this one right here and we are going to go with the, we are going to go with maybe we are going to go with the white for this one we are going to leave that as it is and we can add spacing to the top so we are going to add a little bit 20 and for the table body we can change the color of the background here we are going to go with 
the white with a clear background in this case and we can add color to the typography you can change it to the green here as you can see and we can change the typography as well and add radius to the border so that we can make it match the background of the section and the row gap we can increase it a bit as well so that we need to go with the 20 and we can change it as well for the table footer here we can add background background color change the font and change the hover as well and we can change the link color here and add a border color as well radius to roll stop spacing and the shop link and the color of the shop link on in the hover as well so we are going to move to the login option and which is this one right here and we can change the typography change the background with a classic add an image select a color option if we want and we have the color of the titles the color of the icon in which case we are going to go with this one right here and the color of the links and the link hover so we are going to go with black and on the hover we are going to go with the green here and we can add padding to make it a little bit larger if we want and add border radius as well and for the form label we can change the typography and the color in the same manner and as well for the button we can change the button here so we can go with black and for the the color of the phone as well so we, we as well we can add some border change the radius the padding and add some box shadow as well so we are going to move to the coupon and we can change it mostly in the same manner typography background color icon color links border border radius shadow and add some padding to it or maybe we are going to make it a little bit more smart we can add borders to the phone change the button in the same manner add borders radius padding and so on and for the notice we can change it as well we can change the background we can change the typography we can change the color of the different menus and add some border radius shadows and some padding as well and for the customer details we can change the typography the color of the labels add some spacing as well the color of the required fields like this one the height of the inputs the color of the backgrounds and on the hover as well the borders and the border radius and the bottom spacing that we have here and we can change it for the payment method on the same manner we can change the background the title color we can change the padding to make it a little bit more smaller add some radius and change the label when it's all my all selected the typography the color the information of the payment methods and 
the color and background, the privacy policy, in this case, this one right here, the link, which is this one, and the button, you can add some color, change the background, change on the hover, add some borders, some box shadow, and some padding as well. And we can change the spacing of the text. Once we have made all the changes, we run to our checkout page. We need to save it by going to the lower left and clicking on the update button. So that's it. We have added our checkout from WooCommerce to any section of our site using the WooCommerce plugin and the essential add-ons for Elementor plugins in a quick and easy manner. If you like the video, subscribe to our channel and share it with a friend who might you have on the sites. See you the next time on Palatech.